We lost the tire on the highway. Let me explain. My dad was going down the highway, hit a pothole, and uh, we always think he hit a pothole, and blew out this tire. And um, I had to go on the highway, change it real quick for him, and then put the space saver on, or otherwise known as a donut, and uh, bring it home. So today, I'm gonna look, make sure nothing got bent up when it hit the ground and everything, and uh, get some sway bar end links because they're both broken I'm pretty sure and replace those figure out why it's leaking antifreeze change the oil be healthy they get stuck to it we're gonna try it's gonna be like a 50-50 now while we're doing this we're gonna do a visual inspection of just everything else Right there is the tie rod end. Uh, looks good. Nothing looks broken on it. Brake look good. Rotor is gonna need to be replaced at some point. <laughs> Cause it's rusty, but the whole car is rusty. Um, tie rod end looks good. Feels no play in it. Coil over, fine. Brake pads, still got quite a bit left on them. This is still zip tied on. <laughs> so, for this side, we're just gonna put the wheel back on and we're gonna go on to the other side and do that sway bar end link. I'm gonna go down sometime this weekend. I'm gonna get new tires for this thing. Not all four, just this one, since the other ones were brand new. And this one just happened to pop. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a broken sway bar end link. We're going to try and fix it today. I said try. I didn't say we were... We're going to make a solid attempt. Now while I have the car jacked up, I'm going to look and see if uh, I got a broken radiator hose because the radiator leaks fluid, like bad. Like, I've had the car parked here for two months and it's leaked that much fluid. <laughs> are definitely rusty. So it looks like, what's that, like a banjo bolt? And then these must be for like the heater core. The only thing about it is, I don't see it wet anywhere else on the line. Let's see, there's That's antifreeze right there. I'm gonna guess one of two things. One is I've seen the plastic on these crack and leak antifreeze. It's either this, the whole radiator. Because I do see green antifreeze there, or it's the uh, the heater core lines are rusted so bad. So yeah, upon closer inspection, I looked and I'm pretty sure this whole radiator shot. 
um, I'm pretty sure where the plastic meets the aluminum is cracked somewhere along the line and it's just, it's just leaking. And here's the tire that my dad popped. There's a hole here, right there, a hole here, right there and there. I'm pretty sure these are all from the rim riding on the sidewall. But this one right here, yeah, that definitely looks like he hit something. And this tire just got screwed up real bad. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this on jack stands. I'm gonna leave, come back, charge up the GoPro while I'm gone. And uh, we'll continue this uh, escort shenanigans when I get back. All right, we're back from the auto parts store now. And we got some goodies. Motorcraft filter, AC Delco filter, sway bar, end link. I don't even know if they gave me the right one. It doesn't look like the right one. I went to AutoZone and got it. And sometimes I get the right stuff and sometimes I don't. Thanks, Rust. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> Look at that. Clean off. That's the way to do it. We're going to try to see if this fits. I doubt it. I have two washers left over, but I don't honestly know how I would have fit the two other washers. Woo! Race car! <laughs> Sway bar end link is done. Tight. Tight. Done. Is it going anywhere? Nice and installed. Now I'll do the oil change. It's the same, right? Yeah. Well, they're both 350s. It's like my transmission, too. <laughs> it probably is. Is that 4L80E? No, that's a, th that's a turbo 350. They didn't call them numbers and letters back then. They called them like turbo 400s, turbo 350s. I don't know why they called them turbos. They're not turbo. I need the next size up wrench. What size is that? 916, what's the next one up? Yes, sir. Man, you're good. How'd you know? Now he's just being mean. I don't work on cars. You know what's really bad is this side. I thought he blew the tire out on this side because he said it was smoking, right? Yeah. Well, this side, there's no fender inner liner thing. So you can, that's the serpentine belt. If we ever blow out a tire or belt the tire on the side, it'll go right into the belt. I was like, what the freak? I don't have a spare one of those. Does anyone have a spare? That one was, this wasn't even tight. My dad has a spare. He's got two spare servicing belts for our truck. One for the expedition, one for the F-150. Hanging on the wall. They're used, but they're good. I don't know if we've ever changed the ones in the here. We, oh yeah, we did change the one on this car. Just cause. When, uh, oh, Matthew. <laughs> holy crap, look at this. What happened? The headlight came out of the... You broke the bone. No, oh, it's melted into the socket. So now you're buying a new bowl. New bowl? I might buy a new headlight. Huh. Look, it melted into the socket. Perfect, your headlight project. It must Just have... steal the filament out of there. My dad told me the headlight went out when he <laughs> hit the thing. Look at that. It melted right... 
in the freaking headlight lens. Can you see it from this side? I can't see it because the headlight lenses are so bad. That's amazing. And the headlight's not even bad. You can't reuse that bulb. Why? It's broke. Yeah, this light on fire. Use that for your light bulb project. You gotta <laughs> take the filament out of there. Yeah, right there we go. I'll bring that in the class and show this is what a light bulb's supposed to look like. I, I'm gonna break the rest of that glass off so no one cuts them. You see it melted though? Uh -huh. okay. It melted perfect too, like. I don't think I'll be able to get a new headlight lens for this. Why not? I don't think they, uh... Look, it unscrewed itself, too! I put, I, I put that back in. It's gone. It's gone. That must have vibrated so freaking bad when the tire blew out. My dad said it was ridiculous. Oh, that's probably why this stuff came undone. Like yeah, I think that's why all that junk came undone. It was vibrating so ridiculous. For not half. Alright. See, I, this is how much I turn it. I put it on there. I, I torqued it. Yeah, I just torqued it by hand. And then you just go... Well, you much. know why? Because if I use a strap wrench, you just crush it. That's it. That's all I did. Even by oh, yeah. These are nice. A lot nicer than the strap wrenches. Even by hand, I can crush them. Your dad likes those strap wrenches, right? Yeah, that's what I use. The only reason those are nicer ones than the strap wrenches is because that's the correct size. It's like using an adjustable wrench and using the real wrench. Oh, I run Max Life Valvoline in this car. I know I probably don't have to, and it's kind of stupid because it's an escort, but I mean, race car, yo, you know? So it costs $109 for a radiator. So I'll probably end up getting one of those eventually. Time to torque the wheels. That way the wheel sets perfect on the wheel. Or the wheel sets perfect on the hub. Now I'm gonna fill the tires up with air and I'm running my little compressor. Ready. I'm looking through the freaking trunk. Emptying it out before I go to Pet Boys. New headlight. I'll get my dad a new set of headlights. These ones are pretty shot anyway. All right, so the X score is now fixed. Um, this is it right here. I'm just holding the tripod so you guys get the whole thing in view. Uh, even though I'm using a GoPro, it's probably on a wider mode. Um, Escort's all fixed. I'm gonna go down to Pep Boys. And I'm gonna get that tire uh, put on this one and have them swap that tire out. And uh, I hope they don't give me any BS. Uh, I'll let you know how this goes and I'll probably update you on my phone. Thanks for watching.